Hello again. Welcome to my tutorial on creating a basic business page listing on Facebook. Now this is a very important step in surviving as a business in today's world, and I'll try to take you through some of the do's and don'ts here so that you can get the most out of this free, easy, and essential marketing tool. Now first of all, you might ask yourself why you need another online profile somewhere. You've already built a website, you already have a personal Facebook page, isn't that enough? Well, that all depends on how serious you are really about building an online presence and increasing your overall chances of attracting new customers. Now with Facebook, here you have a place where you can essentially build a free website for your business, even if you already have one. And this new website will not only rake in new interest in your business, but it will increase traffic to your main website and increase foot traffic into your place of business. Essentially, it's a free collection place for all of your how-to videos or testimonials, your photos of your store or products, and it's a way to announce new deals, specials, or updates about your services. And again, it's free. And as the most visited website in the world, to not be listed in Facebook is like not bothering to have a sign on your place of business or not bothering to have a mailing address. So let's quickly roll up our sleeves and create a good business page. First, we log into our personal Facebook profile. Then go down here to Pages. Click on that and come here to Create a Page. You have a few options here, but let's say we're a business that specializes in cat supplies. We'll select Local Place or Business. Click on Choose a Category and scroll through until we find an appropriate category. Look at this. Pet services. Perfect. Now we'll enter our name of business. Speaking of perfect, we'll name our business Perfections. 111 Main Street. Every state has a Springfield. We'll go with Springfield, Virginia. And I'm not sure exactly the zip code, but let's assume that you know yours. And be sure to include that and your phone number. For demonstration purposes, I'll do 555-5555. Now all of this information helps you integrate your data on the web. Read the terms, of course. Then we'll agree and get started. Now we'll upload a picture. Since we're on Facebook here, and not just any old website, let's keep in mind that human-to-human -human interactions are key here. So instead of your company logo, which you'll be able to put elsewhere on your page, here I would recommend that you upload your own picture or some other friendly face associated with your business. In my case, for this demonstration, I'm actually going to go a little against that advice, but instead of a dry, impersonal logo, I'll at least get my trusty baby pic of my cat and select. Be sure to invite your friends to like your page. Import contacts to alert existing customers in your email database. Leave this click to post this new page as a status update on your Facebook wall. And leave this click to automatically like your page. All of these tools not only help direct attention of your friends and customers, but they also leave fingerprints around the web that Google collects and then rewards you for. Enter our website and fill in the About section with, you guessed it, a description that contains strong SEO keywords. And here we are. Congratulations, you now have a basic page. But before we break out the champagne, let's put a little more polish on it. Let's go to Edit Info, and be sure to go through here and fill out all these areas with as much relevant and detailed information as possible. With good SEO, as usual, you'll not only be providing visitors to your page with all they need to know about your services, but you'll also be creating a synergy with your other fingerprints around the web, which will in turn boost you in all of the search engine rankings. Back to our profile here. Now, some other options for you to consider. You can click on this link, Use Facebook as Perfections, if you'd like to start using this business page instead of your personal page as your default profile. And you can promote with an ad to use Facebook's pay-per-click ad service. 
But for now, this tutorial is all about the free ways to promote your site, so let's not stray there at the moment. Now that you have your site, be sure to keep it alive with updates. From pictures or videos of happy customer experiences, new commercials you've made, or even daily specials. The key here is to keep the content useful in some way, but preferably not too aggressive sales-wise. You see, in general, the Facebook crowd likes to be entertained, or at least have access to interesting updates. So be wary of annoying people with constant updates from your business page that are too transparent and trying to pry into their wallets. Keep your page alive, but use good taste and judgment here. So, I hope that helped. As you can see, optimizing your online presence in order to get more feet coming through your door does take a bit of time, and it takes consideration of the way this stuff works, but it isn't always rocket science. Even so, the advantage in hiring a professional online marketer is that you'll be able to devote your time to doing what you do best, while a specialist can throw their weight into what they do best. In any case, all the best with your business, and I'll see you next time.